Hi everyone, my name is Yasutoshi Shishiratori, and I'm currently working as a gastroenterologist at St. Luke's International Hospital in Tokyo, Japan. Our article entitled, Bonaplazen versus Proton Pump Inhibitors for post ESD Breeding in the Stomach, a multi-center population-based comparative study is recently published in GIE. It's my pleasure to discuss our work with you in this GIE video series. I want to start by acknowledging the hard work of my co-authors and the support of the St. Luke's hospitals without which this clinical research would not have been possible. First of all, why did we conduct this study? As you know, gastric ESD is an advanced endoscopic procedure for the treatment of early gastric neoplasms and it has been expanding worldwide. One of the adverse events of ESD is post-ESD bleeding. So far, PPI was demonstrated to reduce the post-ESD bleeding. However, this magnitude of reduction is insufficient for patients at a high risk of bleeding, such as anti-thrombotic agent users. Bonaplazen, a novel oral potassium competitive acid broker, has been used in Japan since 2014. Bonaplazen is a stronger, faster, and longer lasting gastric acid suppressant than conventional PPI. The effectiveness of Bonaplazen relative to that of PPI after gastric ESD is unclear. So this comparative study was conducted. Our study involved obtaining data of age, sex, location of the region, antiplatelet therapy, anticoagulants, hemodialysis, and Charlson comorbidity index. Outcome data such as post yeast bleeding, readmission due to bleeding, blood transfusion, additional surgery due to delayed perforation, and mortality were also collected from participating hospitals. In terms of study design, this was a multi-center retrospective cohort study conducted in Japan using the population-based database. The study population was divided into bonaplazin and PPI groups. PPIs included esomeprazole, labeprazole, lansoprazole, and omeprazole. The analysis was done using propensity score matching. Additionally, log rank test and Cox proportional analysis were performed as sensitive analysis. Our results showed that bonaplazan group had significantly lower post yeast bleeding rates than PPI group. Although statistical significance was not obtained, the rates of readmission, blood transfusion, and additional surgery were also associated with improvements in the bonoplazan group. This figure represents the Kaplan-Meier curve of the cumulative probability of post ESD bleeding by different gastric acid suppressions. Our data also showed bonaplazin, location of the region, aspirin, DOAC, and Charlson comorbidity index were independent factors of increased risk of post yeast breeding on Cox regression analysis. These results might associate with several advantages of bonaplazin over PPI, such as stability in the stomach, faster acting, longer lasting, and the pharmacokinetics that bonaplazin are not affected by sip polymorphism. We believe that our results show the effectiveness of bonaplazin compared with PPI in reducing the post yeast bleeding. We recommend further randomized prospect studies are required to confirm and expand our results. In addition, Studies that not just in Japan, 
but in Western countries are recommended as well to generalize these results. Finally, bonoplasm was associated with reduced post ECG bleeding. Bonoplasm may be recommended as the standard therapy after gastric ESD. I want to thank the ASGE and editors of GIE for publishing our research and bringing attention to this theme. Thank you for your attention.